Chassis dynamometers. They measure and record horsepower and torque delivered to the tires and have revolutionized the high performance industry. Serious tuner shops rely on these tools every day and vehicle owners love having proof of their car's power. But not every chassis dyno is created equal and there are important differences between single roller devices like the DynoJet 224X and a twin roller dyno. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the difference between a single roller dyno design and a twin roller dyno in five key areas. Dyno drum diameters, roller type, simplicity, driveline loss testing, and accuracy. Chassis dynos use rollers to support the vehicle being tested and to record the power from the tires. But other than that one common fact, dyno jet dynos are very different than the twin roller competition. The heart of a dyno jet is a single 24 inch drum that provides a flatter, larger contact surface than smaller diameter twin roller designs. That means less downward force is required to prevent the tires from slipping, making it easier to safely strap down the test vehicle. In this video, you can see the difference between a larger single roller and a smaller twin roller design. In a twin roller design, the drive tires could climb the roller and create an unstable and dangerous situation for the vehicle and the dyno operator. No trunk monkeys are required to get enough traction to make a pull with a high horsepower car either. The dyno jet single roller accurately simulates the tire's natural contact with the road. The large diameter drum also doesn't distort the tire like a twin roller dyno can, which prevents unnatural stress on the tire carcass and even possible tire damage. A dyno jet is a simple but powerful device. Unlike twin roller systems which rely on electric, water or hydraulic fluid braking systems to provide resistance for even a basic horsepower test, the single drum dyno jet uses the unchanging laws of physics to perform this test. The drum is also the secret to the dyno jet's accuracy and repeatability and why it will never need calibration once it's left the factory. The way it works is that dyno jet software knows the weight and inertia of the drum, which never changes. Because we know how long it took the car to spin the roller up to a given speed, the software can calculate horsepower directly. Twin rollers don't and can't work this way. They need strain gauges or power absorbers. This adds complexity to the design and measurement process. Whereas with a dyno jet, there's nothing to go out of calibration and the dyno itself is virtually maintenance free. The dyno jet system can perform inertial coast down tests to diagnose driveline vibration and measure horsepower loss from friction and rolling resistance. This is a feature that a twin roller dyno can't offer. Accuracy is why dyno jet dynos are the standard against which all other chassis dynos are measured. There's no way to change, alter, or manipulate the uncorrected inertial horsepower readings, and every dyno jet comes standard with an automatic weather station that reads atmospheric conditions in real time and embeds them in every dyno run. The chosen correction factor is shown on every dyno graph, so there's no mistaking the numbers. The average twin roller data can be altered very easily to provide false results. This provides inaccuracies from dyno to dyno and reduces confidence from your customers. One forum post summarized it by saying, I don't trust those dyno results, not for the comparison to the more common dyno jet results. Dyno Jet's single drum design is about more than just setting the standard for horsepower measurement. With the optional eddy current load control, operators can simply select whether they want to run a standard inertial test or perform part throttle, steady speed, or sweep testing using the load absorber system, just like an old school twin roller. All the load control testing capabilities of a twin roller dyno are available with a dyno jet, plus the advantage of inertial mode operation, which the twin roller competition can't provide. Accuracy, simplicity, safety, all hallmarks of dyno jet's single drum design. Why not choose the chassis dyno that sets the standard for yourself in the first place?